Okay, so we can't end this without talking about the helicopter. Okay. The Millennial Falcon. The oh, is that what the Millennial? Okay, that's, that's a that's a good name. That's an understanding name. Why? So <laughs> how? Why? why, why? <laughs> when you start telling, talking about helicopters, helicopters. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Wait till I get into the physics portion. Because okay. <laughs> I, you know, when I fir- when I started uh, looking at your stuff, and then I figured out that you also have, you know, another job. I was like, okay, how does learning how to fly and like flight school, and then also like learning what it takes to buy and maintain a helicopter? How does one have time for that? I'm Not sorry. even. I'm sorry. Yeah. A dog is walking by under, but walking behind a go. Card and it that looks was pretty like the cute. Person doing Fl- Fred Flintstone. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a glimpse. That was pretty great. Did you get great. that? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, so the the helicopter. It was. It started off when we were in Newfoundland, and it being again the size of California with you know one fortieth of the population, it has a lot of uninhabited, beautiful landscapes that people just never go to. And I thought the best way to explore my home province is to do it via helicopter. No, 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 no. That's, that's not how it started. What happened was... <laughs> See, what happened was... What happened actually was Chris was like, how does helicopters work? And then he Googled it and he was like, oh my God, physics. And he loved it and then he became obsessed with it. Continue. True. <laughs> and was, then you were like, it would be cool to fly around this beautiful well, That's province. actually exactly what happened. Yeah. I, was putting off, I was putting off studying for my board exams gotcha. for radiology. And I was like, I don't know how helicopters work. So I, I actually, I found some YouTube videos about uh, aerodynamics of flight and how, how they actually fly. I was like, this is fascinating. I really... I really appreciate how these machines fly. It's like a miracle. And then I was like, wow, you know, it'd be cooler than knowing how a helicopter works? Flying a helicopter. <laughs> so, and then I was like, that's crazy. Then no, no one does that. It's like, well, people do that. Like, that's a thing, right? So I started just researching it and then I just became obsessed. And then the idea of being able to explore the province and explore and just get the phenomenal footage and, and just uses it, use it to explore our, our hometown was, or our home province was just that was the ultimate dream. Mm-hmm. So the the goal was to get my license then. There's no helicopter flight schools on the island. So mm. and it's it takes, you know, consecutive hours, like lots of time. But not to, fourteen years. So you're doesn't like, take let's, fourteen years. Let's no. go for it. This will be easy. Yeah, I, 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 I did it in like ten months and that was doing okay. it part time. Wow. So uh, and I was doing it part time during fellowship in Vancouver. Wow. Just on the weekends. I saw him one day a week. That whole year. Yeah. It's like Legend of Zelda all over again. And we filmed YouTube videos that one day a week. Wow. Yeah. So th- I got my license, and ironically enough, it was the helicopter that got my got that got me my contract canceled. So wow. the whole purpose was to explore Newfoundland with the helicopter, and then Newfoundland said, "No, you can't come here because you have a helicopter." Or isn't you have that a funny how life works? It's very funny, isn't it? Maybe funny is not the right word, but well, it's <laughs> it's, it's funny looking back on it's it. It's ironic, you it know. It's ironic. Yeah. yeah. So that's how it all started, and then fast forward to now, um, you know, we have our, we've kind of established a career. We've been able to we've been fortunate enough to acquire our own aircraft. We actually just did a huge trip back to Newfoundland in the helicopter. We we logged like forty flight hours for the whole trip. Took two weeks off work, and it was huh. the most amazing it was trip amazing. ever. When, yeah. So when are you putting out those episodes? Because I might be able to hold off this episode for like a month or two mid-october i think is okay when we're gonna be... so watch it now everyone it's in <laughs> the description below i've already seen it it's amazing oh. <laughs> we'll reenact it right outside perfect perfect <laughs> oh my god we're gonna die look at the thunder <laughs> oh my god there's fog <laughs> and now you don't have to watch it anymore. yeah exactly yeah. 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 It, yeah. It, it was, it was i mean were there scary moments oh my god yeah. i was okay but becky has her own opinion on it yeah <laughs> there are a number of scary moments yeah. yeah there were a few <laughs> excuse me <laughs> there were a few moments where i was like we're gonna die tonight like 100 percent. this is the end yeah well the last night we didn't film this but like the last night we were trying to get to quebec city and it was getting really dark and suddenly we just kind of like flew into this storm kind of thing and well, we didn't fly, well, we didn't fly into it there it was, was thunder and lightning ahead around us and then the clouds moved in so we're like okay we can't go through that so therefore we put the helicopter down gotcha. yeah because anybody who's a pilot it says like they flew into a thunderstorm are you an right, idiot yeah right. no it's it was visible right. thunder and lightning. anyway which so, when you're in a small aircraft and you see that it's scary it's, yeah because i'm scared when i'm in a giant airplane same and i see something like that yeah so it was pretty scary so yeah so that was happening it was kind of getting dark so we were like, all right, we need to we need to land. So we're like circling around, trying to get on the radio to tell them that we're going to land so they don't send search and rescue. So we finally put it down um, on the side of this mountain, and it's like sandy, um, and it's dark. So we're like, okay, well, we need to get the shelter up so we can camp 
Um, and so we're setting up the tent. <laughs> and you said camp. Like, I'm guessing you don't really camp. No. <laughs> that was my third time camping. And my first time was also on this trip out of necessity because on the same thing happened. On a random ass mountain. <laughs> on a random ass mountain. Yep. And That's then it was a rock. And then it wasn't. Yeah. So we started setting up the tent. And then this thunderstorm rolls in. And it is pissing out. Sorry. I don't know. Are we allowed to swear on this? At this point. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. we dropped a few F on. So it, it's urinating from the sky. It's raining really hard. Like, hard like you put your arm out and you're soaked so the tent got wet everything we were wearing we were soaked and it was like nighttime right i feel like the number one rule of survival is like don't get wet because then you how do you warm up cold yeah so we're just like oh my god why did we do that like it was our (laughs) i was flipping i was like like, look we're on the ground we are safe i am right stress free right now she was apparently under more stress at that point than when she was in the air i was like what we're on the ground i was like who's wrestling in the woods nobody killer in the night we're in the quebec mountains there's no wildebeest wildebeest. you don't know so she was i haven't seen her that mad since the legend of zelda wind waker (laughs) wow so so you were like our relationship is in jeopardy I was like, I think she, I think we're almost at that point. Not quite that point. Reason for divorce. 